to Gaming Panzer J, Ready Player Two. I'm Fishy, and I did a little wandering around a bit while we were away to try to find more stuff because my scanner isn't showing anything plot specific, and I'm not able to advance yet. So I think there's still more stuff to find on our own. Simon made this for me before we left Ecoview. Said it was something to remember him by. He's all I want to remember now. But if I forget, it's like they die all over again. So I think of them all the time. But Simon must never know. When everything changes like this, does life go on? Can you even be said to live the same life as you used to? Fedorova has walked the path of the gun for a long time, but for very different reasons. Yep, we're still not showing... Still not showing important plot bits, so we have to find the third power terminal on our own. Uh, so bear with me while I run around looking for stuff. Locked. I wonder if those tunnels are accessible from inside the station. Yeah, I already did that. I already did that. That was not helpful. Hey, I did something. This is it, I guess. I've never liked goodbyes. They're too definitive, but I think this might be the last time we see Chernosk. It's all about letting go in the end. Right. No looking back. Pull over salt and all that. We have a train to catch. Okay, so it took forever. Weird as heck puzzle, but we got our train. So let's go get on our train. Do 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 running through the tunnels. Goodbye, giant fan blade. I didn't like you anyway. Running through tunnels. Do ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Gonna go start some kind of revolution. Actually, no, we're not. We're just trying to figure out what happened to the last one that existed. What happened to all the people? We're gonna have a train, uh, which is right there. Look at that. How do I get on it? How do I. But how to. How do I train? Oh, haha, <laughs> I gotta click on it. Alright, here we go! Now departing for misunderstanding, conflict, and the upholding of divides. All aboard! Okay! So, where are we going? The Seagull View place? End of the line. This is where they were all going the famous mountains of Chernosk. Oh. Safety and stability, if you believe the brochure. Eagle View Plateau should be just up ahead. Okay. I mean, it's pretty. Got little flowers. And giant pillars. And a quaint, dystopic looking dwelling in the side of a cliff. There's probably a huge amount of class divide. You know. All those things that you like in a future utopia. Ooh, my scanner's purple now. Oh. Miko! I dropped Miko! Keep running, Joyce. Come on! Pava! Pava, where's Riho? I thought she was with you! I don't know. I think she's ahead of us. I... We can't stop. Let's go! What? Why can't they stop? Are they running? Hmm. Alright. Okay, scanny bit. Oh, the sign. The sign is important. Uh, there we 
we go. We should just take this damn sign down. Okay. That didn't entirely seem like a called for comment. Oh, they got barricades there too. All right. Oh. Looks like I'm not getting in there. Okay, so this is where we need to go. I say that with perfect certainty because of the fact that we can't actually go there yet. Thanks for the uh, very meta, very hyper aware, tongue in cheek commentary. It's actually the, the sarcasm is, is quite delightful. I, I do enjoy it. Like, good dialogue there. Or good writing? Good writing. I do not have good writing. I have no writing at all. I'm just saying things. And I have no idea if they're even good things. They're probably stupid things, but that's fine. Hey, look, a letter. Here, look. If you don't stop poking your nose into what's not your business, something might happen to you or that beautiful guard of yours. You're on dangerous ground. Back off while you can. What do I do, Luke? What the heck do I do? Huh. I don't know what you do. Wow, that was not fruitful. That was just a... Study? Okay. Do oh, nope. That door is not open to me. Yaomir came by the other day. Asked me to join him in a formal petition to shut down Farid's protest. <clears throat> he was polite, but the others on his side. They're getting aggressive, talking about degeneracy in the system. I, I don't feel safe anymore. Yes, sir. I am pleased with our ability to care for Eagleview's population. I've had good help from our new recruits. Pavel and Salma. Excellent, Doctor, excellent. Is there anything you need from the next supply run into Chernos proper? Medicine, as always. Of course, I'd put even higher value on laboratory equipment and a trained apothecary. Without those, meds will always be a finite resource. Hmm. Okay. New edict. I mean, I can read the edict. It says, As of today, new arrivals to Eagleview will be required to contribute to our town and its people with supplies, resources, or advanced expertise. Those who cannot render contribution upon arrival will be passed along until such a time as they can. I don't know what that means, but that does not sound very inclusive or nice. They're open about it, but only in soft words. Arrivals won't be rejected. They'll be passed along. They're not taxed. They're asked to contribute to Eagleview. Having me build this stamped booth is the icing on that cake. Locked. Hmm. Can I jump on these things? These seems like things that I could... No. Wait, oh, 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 oh. Ah. Jumping. Jumping puzzles. I don't even know if this is a jumping puzzle. This is just me thinking that I can jump stuff. Which I'm a fool if I think that I can jump on stuff. But it just looks so jumpable, doesn't it? Look at this. Like it was made to be jumped. But I do not have a good jumping track record. Like, I am pretty darn rubbish at this jumping nonsense. Ugh. Nope. Well. Boo. Wait, was I over here? Oh, no, I wasn't over here. Is there anything in here? No. Oh, hey, yes. Hey, Shimon. You look like something's bothering you. Well, the books don't add up. I'm about to look into it. We might have a thief. What? <sighs> you probably shouldn't. Hey, wait up! Hmm, a thief, eh? 
Is it a guy that really likes morphine? Ross's journal number 15, July 11th. It's a settlement. The people on the plateau are building a settlement. There are, there are stone buildings cropping up as survivors from Chernusk, of course. The poor lunatics would never find them here. I'm going to have to make contact sooner or later. Okay. So, the people on the cliff, they weren't expecting. Captain's worried about the mountain pass on the other side of the Great Pillars. Thinks someone could approach Eagle View that way, from the southern Chernos Skyway. It sounds far-fetched, but we're stepping up patrols for a while anyway. Okay, stepping up patrols. A special corps of mountain rangers used to patrol here, tasked with the safekeeping of the environment and the landmarks. Those who survived were swiftly drafted to a new cause. A new cause? I'm not going out there. Nah, man, screw it. You hear what he said? They'll be cleaning this place up. He's the guy I told you about, Andre. Let's just stay here. He'll sort it out. Huh. Numerous file-ups for excessive force. More than one internal investigation into suspicions of bribes and perjury. Higher than average number of shots fired per year of duty. Four different partners who requested a transfer. And an uncle in the position of police director. Huh. Okay, let's see. Something over here. A couple things over here. All right. Are they in that building? Is that where they are? It's a home. Oh, yeah. But also an effigy. A monument to Mr. Petrascu's unfaltering industriousness. And two middle fingers in the face of the end. Hmm. Let's see. What do you have to say, Box? A radiant new society with an entry fee. The journey here is dangerous, through Chernosk or the mountains, and we'll turn them away at the door? Unless they can donate to our utopia, of course. Hmm. Yeah, that don't seem right. Entrance fees. All the latest arrivals marked as welcomed or dismissed. Timur Mashkadov dismissed. The DeMaio family welcomed because they brought with them two tanks of gasoline. Huh. Don't seem right at all. Eh. I want that chair. I want that chair. I want to jump over the balcony. It won't let me jump off the balcony. I have to go down and out so I can get to that chair. Give me that chair. Why am I stuck under the. Why am Ah! Okay. Chair, I wanna know your story. Gotta make the frequency match so I can hear the chair talk. My shift on the perch today. Been instructed to fire warning shots if any new arrivals start acting up. With the new rules, little wonder if they're expecting troubles. Perhaps I should sign Farid's stupid petition. Hmm. A goodly view of the bridge. Their instructions mentioned warning shots, but emphasized the importance of Eagle View's safety. Hmm. Safety indeed. I have this. Look, what is it now? You know I can't give you any more sleeping pills. What? Can't I just pay you a visit? I'm offended. Hey, infirmary for the infirms. They got into one of the medicine cabinets, made off with everything. Mostly painkillers and gauze, but it'll be difficult to replace. A strange thing is, the cabinet wasn't damaged. They must have stolen the key from someone. Hmm. Locked cabinet. Gotten into. Painkillers taken. Ah, oh, the 
it stings. A sharp rock, that was all he had. Came at me like some Neanderthal out of a movie, screaming gibberish. If it had been anyone else in the gate that day, he wouldn't have left alive. Lucky guy. Huh. Okay. Balconies. Balconies got nothing on them. I don't know why I keep looking in the balconies. Maybe it's just my... All my game training of look at everything. Search everything. Okay. Two things over there. Here's a ladder, which I did not see. But I can totally use going up the ladder. No! Ah. Oh. Man. Okay. Hey, what are you? Oh. Oh. Jumping. Just... Just what I wanted. Okay. Alley-oop! But where am I jumping to? There? Okay. Binoculars. Who built this place? The cliff town was built by a nomadic people a few hundred years ago. Incredible craftsmanship for the time. The great pillars were already here by then, and the nomads thought they held up the sky. They must be ancient. So, almost as old as you, Dad. Ooh, sick burn. Almost as old as you, Dad. Oop, a sign. Okay. What do you got to say, sign? What do you got to say for yourself? Protest flyers. This can't go on. I understand Farid's reservations, but he's been the council's face outward since we got here. We must show unity. I wonder if we can convince him to help build the toll booth in exchange for some compromise. Ugh, locked. I bet... I bet I needed to jump in game to get in there. Yeah, to get that thing. Hmm... Ah! Uh, oh, yes! Wow. Okay. Woo! Somebody's stocking up. Look at all that some kind of canned foods. Alright, package. I want it. Alright, what do you gotta say, package? Let's uh, extend that. Scroll it back. Nope, it's still wrong. Nope. Still wrong. There we go. All right, now everyone gets equal portions. I don't like the way Farid is carrying on right now, stirring up resentment. He must realize that what we have here is fragile, and we have people living in tents as it is. He used to work for Chernosk's traffic and transports department, and the fact that the city's roads were not neat, straight lines always bothered him. Am I really doing this? Yeah. I kept my name off the flyers because they asked me to. Now I'm building a toll booth just to keep painting the friendly picture. I'm doing their work for them to keep Eagle View together. But what if we just left? Hmm. A symbol can be an object, a person, an act. Andropov fights for clarity in a dim world. Chana paints a wall red. Simone gives a small trinket to the one he loves. And Farid, Farid tries to reimagine the greater good. 
Hmm. Right. Whee! Shoo! Shwee! Uh... No, not in here. Okay. Uh... It's in one of these buildings. Hello? That aren't lunatics! You're, you're painting my daughter up as some kind of psychopath, but she's just scared! They're all scared! Take this down! You hear me? Take this poster down! Ah. Oh. I'm sure I don't have to explain just how sensitive this work is. Can I count on your discretion? One hundred percent, ma'am. I'm your man. Good. Here's the key. Oh, got somebody on the inside. Uh, let's see. Something down there. Uh, oh, I guess that was too high of a jump. How about this? Yeah, it's. I think it's upstairs. Oh, dark. It's dark up here. Or maybe it's not upstairs. Oh yeah, no, here it is. Alright. Frequencies! Yeah. Darn it. I can't get the numbers to line up. The taxes are coming in. They're checked and processed. But the actual storage volumes don't match. Either someone's been way sloppy with the books. Or stuff is going missing. I need to make sure. Okay. Stuff is going missing in the storage. It's locked. Of course it's locked. Um it's not interactive. That's an outhouse. Also probably an outhouse. Here's a back door. Also locked. Alright. Hmm. So how do we get... Hey, look, rope. What's it gotta say? Ah. Close. There we go. Look, have you noticed that some of the guards are wearing these blue neck scarves? Maybe they're just cold? It is windy up here. Mm, maybe. They're kind of distinct is all. <laughs> Sorry, I guess I'm overthinking everything. Hmm. Hmm. What am I doing? Why don't I just go up here? Hello up here. What do you have? What surprises await me. Ugh. All right, well, we got all kinds of stuff in here. Why don't we check out what it is next time? Thanks for watching. Bye.